Well, howdy, y'all. This is Matthew out at the Piney Woods Homestead. Welcome back. Man, it's a beautiful day here in the Uari Mountains. About 69 degrees, a light breeze. Man, it sure does beat those dog days of summer that I had to work through getting all nasty out here. This is some good working weather, and I'm going to take advantage of it this afternoon. I'm going to show you how to pull off from an existing structure, being this chicken coop that we've been taking from a deer stand turning into a chicken coop, and how to square up for where you want to set your poles or your posts to make your lean-to shed if that's something you want to do. I'm also going to take you around and show you the animals. We're going to feed up this evening. I want to go down here and see these baby pigs, man. We're excited about these little guys, and they are. They're coming along. They're looking good. And Rosie's doing an excellent job as a new mama with them. So I want you to see those. Got to really get working hard on this chicken coop, probably about tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'll spend quite a bit of time out here getting this lean-to done. Weather's good. Hopefully get another tree down, get some lumber milled so I can get this run done. I am just about tired of messing with this job. I need to get it done because these chickens are like, come on, man, won't you hurry up and get us into a new place. So y'all stick around. We'll see what we can get into this evening. All right, to square up from an existing building, the first thing you want to do is get you a measurement of just how wide it is. And this building is 62 and a half inches wide. So that's going to give me the measurement that I know I need when I come off of here. I need for it to be 62 and a half inches wide where I set my posts. The outside of my post on each side needs to be 62 and a half. That way I'm going to be square with this building there's a little bit more to it and i'll show you that next but 62 and a half inches wide is the width of this building and that's pretty good you know for i think we're going to end up having about six or seven hens out of this group of birds that we hatched out be all the room in the world they're going to need inside of this roosting box probably fit twice that many actually so i know that my roofing metal is 36 inches wide basically it's an eight foot long sheet. That's how long the shed's actually going to be, the shed roof. But we're going to come out with two pieces of it away from the building. So what's that? 36, 36, that's six foot, basically round about. So I want to pull off from this building six feet, and we're going to put a stob in the ground. Now I've pulled off six foot from the building. Take me a piece of scrap, my trusty old hammer, and just drive it temporarily into the ground. We're going to do the same thing on the other side of the building, then we can start squaring this thing up. Alright, we're coming out six feet from that building on this side, and we'll drive another stop. Nothing fancy, just something temporary. And I tell you, get you a decent measure if you're going to be doing much work. This one's about, I think it's about an inch wide, 25 foot tape. It holds up really good. This thing's been thrown around in the gator, thrown around out here working. I had it for several years and it's holding up. Get you a good one. Now when you're driving these stobs in the ground, you can use a two pound hammer. But on something as thin as what I'm using here, a regular hammer will work just fine. It's not the size of the hammer, it's how you use it. So don't overdo it when you're driving these stobs into ground. You'll break them and have to find your new stob. Now guys, we're pulled off six foot from each corner of that building. Six foot from the battens. Because we know that our metal, once we put it up there, it's going to be about six foot. So that's what we want. Now, we are not square completely to this building. We're offset to the left here, looking, facing the building to the left a couple of inches. So we've got to move these stobs over to the right and get this thing lined up. It's not hard to do. It's not like home construction. You can be off just a little bit and you can still make this thing work. So I'm going to go ahead and get those stobs moved. Yeah, I'm just eyeballing. I do a whole lot of that around here. A whole lot of eyeballing. That's about right. And that's about right. It ain't hard, y'all. I 
All right, now we'll recheck it and make sure we are six foot off this building. Six foot to the edge is perfect. And almost perfect right there. I can work with almost. All right, now we know where to dig our holes out to set these posts at. All right, y'all. The most accurate way to check for square is to pull off of one corner of your stob to the opposite corner of the building. Get a measurement. In this case, it's like 93 and a quarter inches. And then you're going to pull off the other corner of the building to your other stob over here. And my measurement is exactly the same as the other. That lets you know that you are square. If you're out by a quarter inch, don't worry about it on something like this. If you're building a house or a structure that you want perfectly square, then make sure that they line up. And it's pretty easy to do once you've done it a few times. Just take your time, you'll be able to do it. All right, guys, so I showed you a simple way to pull off of an existing structure and square it up for a couple of posts to set for a lean-to shed. We'll get back on this project in the morning. I gotta get the holes dug, get those posts set, and we're gonna get this roof built because I'm ready to see that joker up. Then I can get on the mill and get other posts milled out so we can get this run done. These chickens are needing a home, man. I'm gonna put old Lucille away for today. I'm sure we'll be back together tomorrow. And we're going to get down here and take care of all the animals. Bring you along for that, guys. Y'all ready for some clean, fresh water? Say, nope, we're ready for a new house, man. It's a coming, I promise. It's coming. Here it comes, guys. Fresh water. Coop number two. Man, y'all are looking really good. Get this child proof lock off here. There we go. Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick, chick. Fresh water for you guys and gals. There you go. There you go. All right, so these guys are a little bit ticked off with me right now because I came in to coop with them and <clears throat> they said, man, you are too big of a bird to be in here with us. But they're coming on back over. They want some water. I'm going to get them a little feed here in a minute too. They got plenty probably, but we like to top them off in the evening. These birds are looking really good, y'all. Really good. Got these guys some fresh feed. We feed all of our birds out here the same thing. It's a 22% all vegetarian based feed, all plant based feed. And they all do well on it. These guys are slinging about as much feed out of the feeder as they're eating, but they'll go around and scratch it. That's what I want them to do. Scratch this stuff down and help build us some compost. They're all looking good too. Getting chunky. Look out, chunkies. Look out, chunkies. Laying up in the feed pan. All right, y'all, these guys are looking real good too, man. They are putting on weight like crazy. And we have to move them just about daily now. But they've done a really good job of disturbing the soil where we've had not much grass growing and a bunch of weeds. We've been coming back behind them and sowing grass seed every day when we move them. And it's popping pretty good because we've had probably too much rain in a couple of days, but 
it's all good the grass is coming up and these birds are looking good looking real good Got you some high quality H2O. I'll be right down there, Rosie. I hear you grunting at me. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me one more time. Excuse me. Hmm. All right. All right, locking y'all in for tonight. Locking you in. Ain't nobody gonna mess with y'all. Y'all, we had about four inches of rain over the course of three days. But you can see this grass seed that we put out, it's already popping. And any grass that was left over that didn't scratch up, it's popping on up too. Let's get on down here to Rosy Girl. She's ready to eat. I don't know if you can see the babies back there, but they're under the safe zone. Got a little heat lamp over there. Here comes a little guy from outside, or a little girl. I believe we got one little boar pig out of this group. The rest of them are going to be gilts, I think. Good looking little piggies. Looking piggies. Whoa, there, yeah, mama. These guys have learned to go up under the safe zone. Guys, it don't get much better than this right here. Yep, dropping some water. Well, guys, I'm gonna end it right here with Rosie crunching down on supper. She's getting a little bit extra feed right now because she's tending to these babies, and we want her to have all the feed that she needs to maintain her physical health while she's feeding these babies. We're tickled over them. Guys, we love living this way, and we hope we're an inspiration to you to do the same. Hit that old like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you have, guys, we appreciate you very much. We'll see you on the next video. I'll be back out here tomorrow morning working on that chicken coop, and I'll bring you along for that. Y'all have a good evening. We'll catch you on the next one.